what's going on? It's your mother's favorite, William, and I am back with another video. Last Wednesday, I didn't post a video. I really didn't have anything for you guys. I actually did have an acting audition, and they offered me representation. That was on Tuesday, but that was like super quick. I couldn't film it. I couldn't um, I couldn't vlog that. But yeah, nonetheless, like, nigga, I got representation. Nigga, you can't you can't see me, nigga. I'm a whole ass model actor. Hey, I'm drinking coffee in a uh, in a regular cup because I ain't got no coffee mugs. Y'all remember I got a clothing brand, right? We hit the time, you know I do it right. Shorty wanna ride, I wanna lie, I want show yeah, with me. Did you like those hoodies? You like the t-shirts? Do you like anything else? Yes. Go ahead, visit www.displacedbydesign.com. Link is in the description below. Use offer code WILL15 to get 15% off your entire purchase. Go ahead, you're saving money. Who don't like 15% off? Make sure you follow Displaced by Design on Instagram as well. Collection two will be dropping in April. I'm excited personally, I'm really looking forward to it. Today's video, I decided I wanted to use the front camera just because I wanted to uh, really wrap it up with y'all. Really wanted to talk to you guys face to face, make it really intimate as well. Just about this whole like post-grad phase I'm in right now. I did miss last Wednesday's deadline and I apologize. If my channel were monetized and stuff like that, that would have really hurt me, but it's not. Man, just talking with a couple of coworkers that also just recently graduated and they're looking for like full-time employment as well. Like I'm noticing like a, this big trend and obviously it's no like secret, but there's this big trend of like people who graduate like post-grad students that uh haven't really found a job or didn't really decide to go back to school and then just kind of in that in-between stage they like experience this type of like unforeseen depression like it's really weird this post-grad mental challenge that you go through i don't want to call it depression i mean i probably should because mental health is like one of the biggest unforeseen like the most it's the white elephant in the room. Don't nobody talk about mental healthiness. I talk about mental healthiness. Mental healthiness. Mental health. But I just recently deleted my social media. I did the ad. I did. I, I deleted the apps. I deleted the apps. I didn't delete my actual account. I haven't been sleeping much, and my phone is a big reason. Like I, I can't put down my phone at nights. So. I, I just deleted my social media accounts and I'm really looking forward to like seeing how long I could really last without being on social media. Like I'm not addicted, but like when, I, when I'm bored, what else am I supposed to do? So I definitely wanted to talk about that, <clears throat> just mental health and where I'm at and my decision to delete my social media apps, not accounts. Now y'all can still reach out to me. Y'all can still, when I get back on there next week, my, my damn better be Flooded, flooded, flooded. Flooded, 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 flooded. I decided to keep YouTube, Pinterest, and Tumblr just because those are the most creative in my mind. But I deleted Facebook, Twitter, uh, and Instagram and Snapchat just because those four apps right there cause the most distraction. So this decision to delete my social media apps is very long overdue, but I just kind of believe that like, you know, the timing of everything. You know, the two greatest warriors are patience and time. So I just believe the timing of it all is gonna work out in the end. I truly do hope that like throughout this week, I'm able to go to bed on time, man. Without like, I don't do like uh, melatonin. I don't really do like the sleepy time tea. I just lay there until I fall asleep until I'm tired enough. Cause I'm tired, but I just, I'm not going to sleep cause of my phone. So I've tried to go ghost mode before. I call it ghost mode. I mean, cause like if you ghost somebody, you're not talking to them. So basically I'm ghosting my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat, and my Facebook. I'm just ghosting it. It's like a, it's like a girl or a guy or whoever be ghosting guys. Cause I know y'all be ghosting guys out there. Y'all not, can't trust women. Can't trust them. Uh, where I'm at in life right now, I, I am anxious. I feel like I'm anxious, I'm impatient, but at the same time, I feel like I'm displaying a good amount of patience and stillness while, you know, working on the, the necessary steps I need to take to become a man. I'm doing the things that I need to do, taking care of the small mundane things. Nonetheless, I still feel like I need to be doing something. The reason for this ghost mode is to just kind of figure out why I've been on edge and, you know, ease my mind and also continue down this path of seeking self-validation and, you know, go to myself for advice and not always outsource 
decisions. Be able to make a decision on my own, stick to it and commit to it. So I'm about to ghost these four apps because these are the biggest distractions in my life right now. Kind of. They're very big distractions, not the biggest, but they're big distractions. I don't wanna sit here and say I was, I'm depressed. I have this, this post-graduation depression, I don't. But I am going through this mentally challenging time, understanding and figuring out how to commit to what I wanna do, what makes me happy. And that's the biggest problem within mental health because not a lot of people do things that they really wanna do. They're not sitting there doing things that make them happy. And that's the challenges that we're facing inside the mental health communities. If you begin to acknowledge your own uh, challenges, your own mental health challenges, your own physical challenges and emotional challenges, that's when you will fully be able to understand yourself, understand who you are, understand how you think. And once you understand who you are and how you think, that is when you begin to put in the effort to changing that. That's when you begin to uh, make decisions that are for the good, for the better of yourself and your well-being, and not just because someone wants you to do that. I spent a lot of my life doing a lot of things that I know people wanted me to do. It made me extremely happy playing football, but that wasn't all I wanted to do. I always wanted to be in front of a camera. I always wanted to use my personality and talk in front of a camera, be a sports broadcaster, sports anchor. Um, then I got in trouble and then I stopped playing football and that didn't seem that likely. So then it was always getting back to football because football seemed like it was gonna be the platform for me personally. And who's to say it is, who's to say it isn't. I'm still gonna put 100% of my efforts into getting back on that field. It took me a little bit to kind of get back to that mindset, but now that I'm back, now that I'm here, and now that I'm able to take this step forward and eliminate distractions, I'm gonna get out of football what I was meant to get out of it. Whether I step back on that field, put a helmet back on or not, giving it my all, giving it that last shot, that's all I'm gonna need. Dealing with mental health is very important. I would really love to sit here and, and just go on this whole rant about you know my state of being and, and, and things that I've learned and ways that I can help you all. Please, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, DM me. I won't be on social media for a week, honestly. But reach out to me. Having a plan is important and remembering there are more than one ways to reach your goals that's important. That's really helping me out. That's helping me out in this long run because it's allowing me to take a step back and if plan A doesn't work out, I can go to B. If B doesn't work out, I can go to C. If C, D, E, F, G is not working out, there are other letters in the alphabet. So therefore there are other plans that I have set in place. That has been my main drive. That has been my main motivation is having this plan and seeing it through. And if one isn't working, going to the next one, seeing it through. That is what has been driving me. That is what has instilled this passion inside of me and what has kept me going. I just wanted to pop this quick video onto my page. If you wanna see more of these, please drop in the comments below, let me know. If you like this video, like it. If you didn't like this video, like it. Subscribe, click the bell to get notified when I post. Again, I post every Wednesday. It's your mother's favorite, William. I'm gonna see y'all Wednesday. I don't follow women that just be showing their booties. Oh.